So what's next for Stephen Benedict? Is, is it going to go flying an airplane or, or what's in the next 90 days for Stephen? Uh, right now I'm in the muck of training right now. So I'm in preseason. This is, is pretty much my, probably going to be my last year. If not, maybe one more, but uh, my last Olympics. So definitely, definitely pushing the close of the envelope on it and very much in it right now. My coaches and my training partners. So I'm really excited about this year. There's a lot of things shaping up and just looking to close on an exclamation point. That's fantastic. Is there anything that we haven't talked about today that you want to throw on the table to talk about your book, your show, any of your other appearances? This is the platform to, to do it now, to, to share with the audience something that I may not have asked you or you want to speak about. Flip the mic open to you. Oh, I think we've covered a lot. There's a lot to my story that we would take a long time to cover. There's nuances there and you guys are all more than welcome to reach out. My website is probably the best place you can... Uh, catch the full picture of things of kind of things unfolding from my schedule to competitions to events that I'm doing. And that is uh, www.stevieb.com has all my social there um, has interviews there that I continue to do and put up. Like I said, I'm an open book. It doesn't matter what you're going through. All everything is confidential. If you email me, you have nuances of things that you want to discuss personally, that's fine too. And also big in the health and wellness space, coming out with programs uh, as far as structuring what life should look like and what are your four pillars and what you should be focusing on and just throw those out there for you. And the most important things when you look at yourself and structure your health and wellness space is your awarenesses. I, I throw them out there all the time. It's the four pillars of awareness in which I'm cued on and noted on is your self-awareness, your spiritual awareness, your mental awareness, and your emotional awareness. Mm -hmm. All those things in alignment will help you to thrive and help you to just be a better person for you and you show up on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's kind of things in a nutshell. You definitely are a business athlete. Those four pillars of awareness are, are part of our content pillars as well, said in very much you know similar fashion. I'm flattered that I was able to have you in the lab here today. Last Monday, Stephen, we had Robert Esme here, one of the gold medalists from 96 with, with Bernie Cern and the gang there. And that was, it was interesting to hear from him because when I asked him his journey to become a, a gold medalist, he said, no, I, when I decided I was going to be a, an Olympian, it wasn't just to be an Olympian. I was deciding I was going to be a gold medal Olympian. And to hear his story was a pretty fascinating journey. And we talked about the, the burden of carrying that to that and all those things along the way. So that, that's, I, I invite you to check that show. He was in the lab last week. I'm again, excited that we had you here today in the lab. I, I would welcome you back to continue part two. Yeah, that, well, definitely. that sounds great. Although I might chunk this up, and make this into actually a <laughs> part of myself because we've had a wonderful conversation. Now I'm going to throw this on the table. So we've gone through November, Stephen Benedict, and we're on November 29th. And I chose last year to begin something in my journey through life called no month in November. And I chose last year to say no to peanut butter because peanut butter just goes on everything for me, like absolutely everything. And it takes me out of my line. It takes me out of the lane, Stephen. When I have peanut butter, it just takes me out of my lane. So I, I this November, I challenged Baffle Nation to, to put their poison on the desk for the month of November and say, hey, put something aside, make a different choice and say no to something. So for one day, or maybe maybe for the rest of the year, and I know you're in some structured systems right now, but what are some no things that you struggle with? Let's make this a broader question. What are some no things that you go, oh man, I want that peanut butter, or I want that ice cream, and it's going to get me out of my lane? Yeah, I'm a dessert guy. So yeah. I, I, love, I love cakes. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm a cake guy and donut guy. Yes. Uh, big donut guy. So I think... Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to have to give up donuts for a while. I'm like bad. They're good fuel though, right? Like they're good fuel for a runner. Yeah, that's probably how you justify it, isn't it, Stephen? I, I justify it because I go on my way to the gym. There's a place called Sidecar Donuts and they make them right oh. out of the oven for you. So oh. on my way to the gym, I pick up two and I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'll burn this off in the gym, whatever. But my coach found out the other day and he actually had one. He's like, you can't have these anymore. These are so loaded. 
And I was like, all right, I think I'm going to have to cut back on that. Like the pastry thing and me being an Italian is very tough. But I love my pastries. So maybe for that, I'll, I'll keep it out for the, till the beginning of the year, at least. <laughs> 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 yeah, cookie dough for me, donuts, pastry, all those. I, I'm definitely on the sweet side of the. We would be fighting at the pastry counter, I think, Mr. Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Listen, I'm going to throw you into the green room while I say goodbye. If you just hang tight for a moment here, and I'll come back and say, come back and walk okay. out of the lab. All right, hang tight. No problem. Thanks. Boom, boom, and there we go. All right. Hey, wasn't that a fantastic conversation with Stephen Benedict? We went into overtime. I think I'll be cutting this up into two shows. I don't know why I wouldn't because what a great chat. And so that we can have Stephen back for three and four. Listen, if you're tuning in now, tuning in later, go tune back to the beginning of the show. It's an awesome episode around Stephen Benedict's journey. And I'm not even going to attempt to, to start it right now. you got to go back and listen to the show. What I do want to talk about, though, is the month of November is coming to a close. November is coming to a close, but that does not mean we give ourselves permission to open the peanut butter jar. So now I have a game I'm playing with my head, right? Here's the truth that perhaps we all have with ourselves sometimes, and I'm going to bring it up right now. So one shoulder is, no, I'll just have a little peanut butter. The other shoulder is like, no, but you're going to break the 30-day streak. So now you guys are going to have to deal with me talking to you. And here's the public part of this, doing the show every single day and keeping myself accountable. Is I'm keeping myself publicly accountable to this. It's I'm writing in my vitamin G urinal in front of all of you. How long will Keith stay outside of the peanut butter jar? Live in the lab in the Business Athlete Performance Lab, Monday to Friday, we're noon central time. We'll see you guys tomorrow.